let's talk about this, right? Um, so, okay, Paul. So clearly, clearly these girls are getting it in. These girls, <laughs> these girls are getting ran through. Yes. These girls are sure. getting ran through en masse. And, and this is happening at a crazy level never before seen. Like I, I, a lot of people would be like, oh, women were hoes like this back in the day. No, they weren't. No, no they absolutely weren't. Absolutely not. They, and anybody There's who some... says that is, is uneducated moron. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, how does this, how does like the, the frequency, because we both dated women with, you know, high body counts and the self destruction was just like, evident and it, right. it's just, it's heartbreaking to see that yeah. you know the the self destruction come through and i really believe that a woman with a high body count like you know anything over 20 is like you're really 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 pushing it to like have a stable loving relationship i feel like this is like almost like a fucking you know like a mark of leprosy like it's just like this person's doomed um yeah yeah i got some important things on that and this is what you know, it, guys who are listening here, this is what I've watched John grow to, which I'm super happy about. This is what I'm growing into also. We're elevating ourselves past manosphere dumb shit. <laughs> okay. Like we're we're having educated, higher level discussions that are actionable that are going to help you because some of the stuff that's out there is not very helpful. Um, we'll have a, on, we're going to have an honest conversation about promiscuity body count some of those things that and how it affects things we've done this before on the channel but i do want to make this statement first of all here's what we don't know okay this stuff now as i say this this does not give you guys permission to go try to wife up you know the girl with the all the red flags and bad behaviors all right a lot of guys are waiting to have the justification for making dumb decisions all the time because they, that it feels good at the time. Right. So don't use what I'm about to say to justify stupid um, <laughs> decisions in your life. That said, we don't know where, where the number cutoff is. We know there's a, there, we know there's a correlation between, you know, relationship dissatisfaction. I'm going to break all this stuff down, but relationship dissatisfaction in general, and body count. There's a correlation between anxiety, depression, mental ailments and disorders. And in one of the studies I'll show you, it shows it after the promiscuity, not before. So that was a question for a while was, well, maybe they had these mental disorders to begin with. And then the sexual promiscuity was, you know, to try to cope with those things. Well, in this one particular study and a couple of them that they've looked at, they've measured before and after stuff. And then, you know, they were, and it's, you know, asking questions, but, you know, it's through a lot of survey and data collecting. But what they're finding is a correlation between body count and poor mental health markers. So, so, so wait a minute, wait a minute. I got to stop. So I got to stop the, the show here for a second. So you're telling <laughs> me. So because I already knew this instinctively. Okay. Of course. But you're telling me that a woman getting ran through causes her to develop mental health problems. Yes. That's wow. what's correlated there. For you know sure. I did, I call, I'm 37, so call me old school. But I just trust <laughs> my gut was like, oh, this bitch been ran through? Like, oh, oh, God, like the attraction just plummets. It really, right. really does. You know, yeah, no. Now, I'm going to say, though, on this, like, so we know that we know that there's I'm going to go through all that data. We know that there are poor markers for happiness and satisfaction in long term relationships later with promiscuous behavior when they're early on. Right. There's higher correlations of mental health problems, higher correlation of attachment problems, higher correlation of uh, infidelity, cheating. Right. Higher correlation of divorce higher correlation of breakups and just all around not being happy and being all around a shitty person to be with higher correlation. Okay. So like these people who get on there and want to act like this isn't, you know, that's not true. And we're just, I don't understand how they can do those mental gymnastics. I'm going to share a study from 2023. So it's not like I'm looking at ancient data here. 
You know, this stuff demonstrates this and they're not even correcting because you got to remember there's a disconnect between your average scientist, usually male, who's probably pretty blue pilled and not, you know, like no offense to Jordan Peterson because he has some good things to say, but like a Jordan Peterson type where he married a sweetheart. You know what I mean? They're really disconnected a lot of times because they're older, different generation, you know, and, and, and very educated, but they're disconnected for what is going on with 21, 22, 23 year old girls right now. They don't understand like when they stop the study at, you know, 10 bodies or something like they're not even scratching the surface for a lot of these young girls now. And there's been some other data to show that, you know, that I, I, and I've made the the statement or from, from other things I've seen and and through just experience with, they don't want to do this study that well. When you, when you adjust your data pool for women who are sexually marketable in the marketplace, that means you take out women with like disabilities or serious like mental things where they can't take care of themselves, stuff that would make them un unmatable mo- for the most part, right? You take that out of the pool and you look at women who are in a, in a pool of matable, like meaning they are out dating. They're going to try to get a guy someday, right? That's your pool. When you make that adjustment nowadays, a girl by the time she is 30 years old has gone through between 20 and 50 people. Most likely, you know, there's a few exceptions to that, but if say I have to be a betting man, again, to, to we can say that number again to, to make probably between 20 to 50 people, probably what age? And by about 30, you know, it's not that hard to figure out though. Let's just do, let's just look at the day in the life. You know, average girl has sex for the first time at 15. You know what I mean? And so then she gets her heart broken or it's a bad experience, whatever happens. She probably hooks up a couple more times before high school is over with. That's, you know, at least three bodies by the time she's done with high school, maybe four. She goes to college. She, she hasn't even hit a hoe phase yet. She goes to college, hits her party years. I mean, a girl has a series of one night stands, cheats on boyfriend. In a couple of years, she can easily go through 10 bodies. You know, let's take if she starts having sex at 15 and keep this in mind that girls now generally and not all women, of course, but most women don't take a break. Like their idea of a dry spell is like maybe a couple months. Like they're not like some dudes who are like, man, like I haven't just, I haven't been able to get chicks to want to talk to me for the last six months. Like they don't know what that's like. They don't know what that's like when they want to feel like a mateable human, valuable human being, they just go out and, and get laid. Like it's not hard for them and get there's fucked. no more shame in it. Let's right? keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it a stack. They get out and get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Of course. And, and so let's, let's look at that. Even if they're being modest, what's 15, you know, divided by 20 bodies one a year. That's not very much when you think about it. She started at 15 and then she's 30 one body a year already puts her at 15. We know she's done more than that. So it really just by just simple deduction and mathematics, it puts her between 20 and 50 for most girls. And that this is unprecedented. 